All right, hello, welcome back to another Let's Play of Daggerfall. All right, so last time, in the last episode, we found out that who killed Lord, uh, King Lysandus and uh, apparently the true culprit is Lord Woodburn of Wayrest. I realized the last time, I think I called him like Wood... I don't remember what I called him, like, uh, but I, I didn't, I wasn't calling him Woodburn. Uh, Woodborn, it's, I was saying Woodburn. It's Woodborn. So here's this castle here. Oh, shoot, I should have recalled. Anchor recall, people. Anchor, an anchor recall. Whoa. Okay, so again. It's a castle. No, it's not. It's a freaking dungeon. So I'm gonna cast that anchor. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna just drop off some stuff in the... Stay in Woodburn Hall. Oh, yes. Stick a bunch of my gold in there. Gold buys a lot, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I got. Right. Oh boy, there's a centaur! So if you're wondering what the centaurs look like, they look like that. I guess they were expecting me. Oh, I see the subtle knots to like Daedric kind of statuaries here. That's pretty cool, you know, kind of just set the ambiance. Let's see. So, just a bunch of junk. Enchanted bracelet. Yoink. Okay. Uh, yeah. So basically, I'm gonna hang on. I'm just setting something up. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power through as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna be using a guide to like again, just help me out here. A bunch of orcs. Potion recipe. Potion of water. Yeah, I'm gonna be like using a guide to help me out with this one, just because this one is again a kind of relatively long dungeon, not as long as the other one. Is there a platform just sitting here? What the heck? Okay, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna just really quickly go through, and I'll meet you guys at the end of this dungeon. Okay, so the guy should be in here. Oh, whoa! You've been a thorn on my side. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I killed him. And now it will be a pleasure to slay you on guard. Ah. This guy's a knight level. Anyway. Yeah, again, that dungeon was pretty long. There we go. It is up to Gothrid now. Oh, oh dear. So Gothrid is the king's son. We freed his soul, I guess. <laughs> that was really hard to hear too. Okay, cool. So this is he has a little rug. Cute. All right, yeah. So that was yeah. We defeated him. That was cool. That's a pretty good loot on him too. All right. So I guess the next part of this is let me double check what the next part of it is. Okay, so here's actually the um, what he says. Uh, the King Lysandus is. At last able to rest, the wraiths and ghosts of his loyal soldiers vanish as his soul passes to the underworld, leaving the city of Daggerfall to the living. Right. Oh, and actually, he has a diary. Let's see. If you want to get Lord Woodburn's diary, go east from the landing through another landing. Follow the home. Okay, da, da, da. there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see. I can... Let's, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and find it. Because I was actually here, I was behind like a trick wall or something. Um, I just teleported here just because um, I thought it glitched out or something, like the the doors weren't opening, but turns out it was my fault. Anyways, uh, a bunch of loot in here. Nice, nice, nice. A bunch of loot. Let's see like what his motive was here. There's his diary. It's a piece of paper. Okay, let's see. Oops, I'm not in steel mode. Let's see. There we go. Use. Okay. From ch something from childhood. I know that Gothir would not refuse his aid, but I must bide my time to ask. After all, Alana is an heiress of Wayrus, and I am her betrothed. This should be that when aid where dies, which he is bound to do sooner rather than later, I will be king. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Never trust a dark elf. <laughs> okay, so he's talking about Queen Baron's Sire. 
Where the the Helseth will be heir and Elia El Lasana will be married off to some far off kingdom. Where guys already promised to the heir of first hold. Better keep her around to spread the poison against the Lys Lysana, especially me. Okay, because he's being pushed to the side, basically. Um I think Helseth does become king. In the end, yeah. Based on the previous, I mean, not the previous, the um, other Elder Scroll games. Uh, I will deal with her just as it will. Send us the full Shinra Regu to support me. Cordrock and his orcs almost saved him. I'll deal with those subhumans once I sit upon the throne of Ray Rust. Well, you're a jerk and you're racist. <laughs> of course, it is important to solidify my power base and almost certainly rely on Godric to support a bid for the throne. If Helseth is made heir, I have a spy network. Equaling Edward Godward, or the Gorithai, or the Emperor, perhaps the Necromancers and the Underkings networks are more extensive, but I doubt it. The problem is raw physical power. I do not have a standing army and need gold to raise. Okay, interesting. So he, yeah, clearly he was like in it for the throne and all that. Okay, so a couple interesting revelations. <laughs> I'm using the wiki to explain it because the lore is so complicated. Okay, so he's the assassin, like for sure. Uh, Whitburn is betrothed to Alessana, who is, uh, yeah, way rest, uh, plotting against King Edwyr, Queen Berenziah, and, and Prince Elsa. So he wants to defeat all three in order to become the king. Uh, Lysanus is allied with the orcs, right? And he tried to pretend, prevent him from dying. And then Gothrid, which is Lysanus' son, is actually with Woodburn. Right. Okay, now, so the next part of this quest is interesting. This is where it kind of branches out. Depending on who we give it to, we'll change a few things. All right, let's see. Who can we give it to? We can give it to Ekarithi. Um, But she's not going to believe you. Medora, Minisera, and Nafalga. Okay, so his supporters are... Um, uh, they're just gonna say, you know, like, stay away from Woodburn Hall. Renzio, Edward, Helseth. Okay. Uh, okay, so they actually give you a reward for doing that. If you give it to Gordwalk or the King of Worms, it's good information for them. Abakaya Gothrith. Um, they're gonna attack you. <laughs> okay, cool. Therefore, to complete the quest, you had to give it to Baron Zai, Edward, Halseth, Medor, Minister, and Nafalga to actually get the real, um, what is it, the real uh, ending here. Just because, like, we actually killed the guy, so I think it's safest to choose one of them. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is to actually... I would give it to, yeah, the Kingdom of Wayrest. I think that would be the logical decision that I would choose and my character would choose. So let's just go in. Not to mention that I've helped them before, so it's kind of like, it makes sense for my character to actually choose them. I guess if you're roleplaying a different type of character, you can choose any of the others. Right, but I think I would choose to give it to them because they're the ones directly involved. But every time I see this hedge maze, I, have to, I actually lean over on my desk and I'm like, wait, I can't see it. <clears throat> but yeah, let's give it to them real quick. And then we'll get on to the next part of the, the main quest. This is actually towards the end. I think there's only one or two more quests left. Um, and then that's it for the main quest. I get to Baron Zaya, get the king. Eh. Okay, so this is atrocious. After the affection we showered on that fool Woodburn, we nearly married that villainous swine to Ellis and I nearly handed the throne away rest to a cat of the First Order. Okay, it's the right thing to do to bring this to our attention. Rest assured that Lord Woodburn will be arrested and executed for his treason. I killed him. His name barred from the Books of Honor. 
His acquaintance is interrogated, his fortune confiscated. As a gift, please allow me to give this much coal. Jeez. Holy heck, that was a lot of money. Awesome. I'm assuming I'm gonna get a lot of reputation from these people. Because, of course, I would. Uh, I'm gonna stay when we I'm gonna just deposit the cold real quick. Oops. Ah! I'm not. I only put 27. I meant to put that much. Ah, oh, that's good enough, right? Okay, so let's see. This is where the time quests kind of make a difference here. So we gotta go to. Alright, we gotta wait a little bit. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we gotta wait a little bit in order for things to happen. And then, um, and then, yeah. And then let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit just to see when the quests will show up. Okay, so uh, it turns out to continue the main quest, I had to do the quest for, um, let's see, for the orcs and uh, the king of worms. So I just finished the quest because I just wanted to do it real quick, but I realized there's like a really interesting tidbit of lore that he's saying right here. This is a reference to, I believe, Arena? Yes. I believe it's a reference to Arena. Right. Okay, so please accept this cloth amulet, blah, blah, blah. Uh, in addition, I have this. Decided it is time for someone outside of Tiber Septon's line to know the truth about the Underking. As you know, Tiber Septon was the first... Actually, no, it's not a reference to Arena. It's something... It's prior to that. Okay. As you know, Tiber Septon was the first Emperor of Tamriel. Toward the end of his wars of conquest, he betrayed his battle mage, Zern Ak Arctus. When Zern died, his soul refused to leave his body. Something to do with the mysterious Numidium. Okay, so that's a big word right there. Since that time, Zern... Uh, Arctus has lived on as the Underking. The Underking and his agents have been a thorn in my side for centuries. Just remember, should the Underking regain his mortal body, he would surely throw all of Tamriel into conflict. Like, yoink the amulet for him. Okay, yeah, so that's like a little tidbit of lore there. Um, that's kind of useful to do. I gotta go ahead and finish up the Orcs quest real quick. Um, and if there's any interesting lore, I'll just go ahead and stick that in there too. A few moments later. Alright, so uh, after looking up a little bit and all the confusing branching paths, turns out um, there's actually a quest that I forgot to do in um, Daggerfall, uh, specifically the Kingdom of Daggerfall. And if you guys remember, the king asked me to do two things. So appease Lysandus' ghost, which I just finished. And the other one is find out what the heck happened to that letter. Um, I think one of the quests actually um, told me where it was. It's um, it that the orcs actually have the letter, but for some reason the quest isn't triggering. So I'm just going to have to go through and do the quests that lead up to getting the letter, <laughs> which if that makes any sense. Okay, so apparently to do the quest you have to talk to the maid. Yeah. You gotta scratch my deal. Yeah, so I had to help her out before she helps me. Okay, my name's Indessa. Uh, I'll tell you everything I uh, I know, but I don't need to remind you that there ain't no such thing as free info. Okay. I'm just a maid to her highness. Nothing I flick to the world, and my needs ain't big. I need this werewolf done in. Uh, this is where there's some Stendar for Sukhol called Tristor Laboratory off the coast of Bethany Way. Can't tell you why, but it's important that werewolf gets put out of its misery. I'll wait here 171 days. That ought to be plenty of time. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we had to go kill a werewolf for her, I guess? Crazy. Okay. So uh, I gotta go find a werewolf. <laughs> Just store laboratory? Oh. 
Wait, did I spell that wrong? No. Okay, where is it then? Oh, it's in Bethany. Okay. Literally on the Isle of ben Bethany. Alright, so again, dungeon type thing going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and power through that real quick so you guys don't have to watch me stumble through a dungeon again. Alright, so I finished the quest real quick. Um, we had the werewolf. And now she's telling me information. This is kind of interesting. Okay, so of course I remember this letter. It's not every day you get a letter from the Emperor himself, especially seeing as the king ain't too fond of him. In fact, it's the only letter I've ever seen from him. I give it to her majesty and she gets all excited. She rip it open and she said, this isn't for me. It's addressed to Minas Sarah. Then boom, her jaw fell open. Her eyes get real wide. She says she'll make sure the queen mother gets it and I don't have to worry myself not about it. Okay, interesting. So we actually have two options. Either go to the queen or we can actually, let's see, we should be able to actually talk with Minas Sarah, who's on the opposite side. And I'm being attacked. Okay. What? I thought I was supposed to be able to just go over there. Right go the stairs. Inside you'll find Queen. Uh huh. Okay. That's. Hmm. I don't know why it's not letting me just do that. Attack me? Do we have to just talk to her though? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Attempted me with a very interesting tale of deception. So Sindasa the maid says Abukai opened a letter from the Emperor just to me. I can tell you that she never delivered such a letter to me. I'd like to investigate this further. It would be dangerous to pop into the affairs of Abukai without enraging King Godric. Are you, even though he is my own son, are you willing? Yes. Of course. Good. I have long had my suspicions about Alakai's loyalty to the Emperor. She is a daughter of the late King Cameron, who ruled Hammerfell from his citadel in Sentinel. Right. And we met them like a couple, like an episode, a couple episodes ago. My husband, King Lysandus Marvers, the soul, died at Crinigain, as did King Cameron. Lysandus' body was not recovered, so he has a monument erected there, uh, rather than a true tomb. Oh, my mind wanders. Yeah, and we know this. All right, and we just freedom. The Emperor uses Andar Kingford as his messenger in Daggerfall. He could be anywhere in the region delivering his missives. However, Andar Kingford is a member of the Knights of the Dragon. Okay, ha ah, coincident. I am also a Knight of the Dragon. Let's go to the Buckington residence in Buckingford Manor and ask for Elvira Morton. She may know where to find Andar Kingford. Try to find out why the letter was addressed to me. Let's deliver it to Abu Kai. Okay, so Buckington residence. Okay, we need to look for uh, L, 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 R, Y, A. Okay. So, at least it's like gonna be here. No, stop attacking me, weirdos. Uh, once I leave watch, nothing's gonna happen. Like, they don't chase you. Alright, so we're gonna have to go find this place. I wonder if I can just go to the Knights of the Dragon and just ask them, because I'm kind of with them. So I think it'd be easy to just talk to them, hopefully, be able to just get the information. Because I'm part of them. Let's go... where's the entrance? Oops. It's locked. What? So maybe... Oh, maybe it's uh, too early. Go close. Yeah, it's closed. Um, let's see, info. Uh, it's only 7.52. That's why. Uh, oh, for a while. Loiter. Uh, seven, eight. Four hours? Okay. Three hours. Uh, 
how this lady is just staring at me. Lady, do you know information? Let's see. Uh, people, things, work, where is... Parchment. Ring. Huh. Okay, well. Let me just go to dialogue mode. I'm gonna try not to talk to the quest person. Bedford Ashford. Let's see if we can talk. Where is tell me about where is what? Really? There's no way to talk to what? Okay, so I, I get armor. Ebony, dang. Okay. Uh what do I need that's Mithro is 15. Dang. It's actually pretty high. I still have silver greaves. Okay, let me just equip. Can I equip it? Yes. Yes. Slowly becoming more legit. You see fast? Oh well, <laughs> I don't get a house yet. Okay. So we haven't done enough of their quests. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see if I can find where it is. Yeah, it's a building. Unless it's already revealed. Let's see. It's Morstan. I need Buckington. Residence. Okay, I'm gonna try to find it. I'm not sure why it's not showing up. Or in the dialogue. Okay, turns out. Yes, double check to see if it's a location versus a place. It's a look that the first part was the name of a town. And now um I'm in the correct town. Right, and this person is in this house. So I can find this person. Are you up here? Sometimes they're up in the rafters. Oof. Oops. Keep going out of this place. You in here? Go. Oh, here she is. Okay. Talk. I would not normally tell anyone who is not a knight of the dragon where to find. The Howard Ring Glory to King Minister, also known as Andrew Kingford. This embell the last person that tried to ambush him in 55 days. He's due to be the palace of Rippmore. Try him there. I am a knight of the dragon, though, so. Try to the town, yeah. Okay. So let's go to the town. So rip more. And I have to go into the palace of Ripmore. I should be there somewhere. Oh, so foggy. There we go. Oh, these fogs of fog. This fog effect is intense. Just save real quick. Okay, so let's see if we can find the guy. Havana Hurtwing. Shit, what's the guy's name? Double checking the name. Endar Kingford. Endar Kingford, where are you? Is it you? Nope. It's opening all the doors. Oh, there's another room in here. Nope, not you. Um, 
Where is the guy? Should be here. Unless he really is doing 52 days. Should be able to just find him. Nope. Nope. Wow. Dude, where are you? Whoa. I can go outside of the castle? Wow. That's pretty cool. Or palace. Palace, excuse me. Man. Where's this guy? No. Oh. Such a weird looking landing. Uh, where are you? 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 Dang, where is this guy? Oh, that's just okay. Now I'm just going in circles. Oh boy. Why is there a this is just a what? What? It's just a hallway? I mean, like an archway? Okay, so maybe he's not quite here yet. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe wait a few days. Let's see. Two hours later. Okay, so that was about a month of waiting. Let's see if he appears. Let's see, uh, dialogue. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Da 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 da. In the service of this. Okay, yes, I'm Ander Kingford. The signet ring proves that you are indeed in the service of Minister. Da, 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 da. I delivered a letter and I advocated the Queen of Daggerfall and not Minisera. I tell Minisera that I take my duties quite seriously. I would never knowingly deliver a missive to the wrong party. Queen Avocai gave me this amulet in gratitude. She said to Minisera that she may know that I'm a loyal servant and faithful to my order. Okay, so basically he was supposed to deliver to the Queen. The Emperor didn't specify which Queen. It's pretty funny. Okay, so... Let's go back to Daggerfall. So it's kind of like a misunderstanding, I guess. Alright, let's go back to the palace. Yeah, so in order to wait a month, I I mean, you could keep track of the days and like just um, do quests and stuff. I just slept for a month. <laughs> That's the only way to pass time like that much. And it also in the inns you can only pass time like 99 hours at a time. So I was just keeping track of uh, how much time had passed. Using a calculator, you know, just simple math. Uh, and during that time I also uh, fixed up my armor and my weapons. That's a good thing to keep in mind for the older Elder Scroll games. Only because the older Elder Scroll games do have like, uh, the weapons can break. Um, that's every game except ESO and Skyrim. I think they're the only ones that don't really have that kind of system. Ah, come on. Okay, let's see. Man, this might take forever to load the castles. Some of the castles are huge dungeons. If not, like, all of them have huge dungeons, you know? Okay. There you go. Oh, I always have to say yes to the guy. What's going on? Are they going to attack me? Why do they always attack me? I'm just trying to talk to the queen. I was queen by the time I arrived, my dear Lysandra was dead, and Abukai was queen. Never find out what was in that letter. I have no interest to Abukai. Yesterday I received a letter from the Princess Mar Princess Margaia of Wayrest. Oh my gosh, she's always involved in stuff, isn't she? Let me to know something of the Emperor's letter. Now there's a family that seeds under the rule of the Emperor. Return to me if you find out who has the Emperor's letter. I have no desire to own anything about the guys anymore. Okay. Yoink. Okay. So I guess what we could do is go back to Wayrest. Now here's the thing. I know I know where the stuff is. I just don't know if I have to go back to Wayrest to trigger the quest. I guess let's just go back. 
uh, to weigh rest. Um, well, it costs zero gold. Okay. Did I buy a... Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, what? I don't know. Anyways. Not important. Let's go to the palace. And talk to Morgaya. Just real quick. Um, just to see if... I hope we're not too late. Um, it's so dark, too. Um, just to see if like I need to talk to her to trigger that quest in order to um, get the letter back. So we'll see. Yeah. Basically this whole game is like, the main quest of this game is you being political messenger for all of these nobles. Which is pretty cool. I kind of wish they did have something like this in some of the other Elder Scroll games. At the same time, it's like, play Daggerfall then. <laughs> Suffer through Daggerfall or read the summary of Daggerfall somewhere. I heard there's a, yeah, I think I mentioned this in the previous episode, there is a mod um, that you can play in Skyrim that goes through the story of Morrowind, complete with all of the traces and stuff. I have yet to try it. Um, I guess like if people are interested, I can try it out, mod, mod uh, Skyrim to be able to play it. Okay, let's talk to her. Okay. Oh boy. So she has a quest for me? Oh boy. Okay, what do you want? Uh, the, oh, it's another one of these. Okay, so it's just a, another dinner quest. Uh, I might just do it. Just real quick, it's not gonna take too long. Hopefully. Let's see. Uh, so she's actually in the town. Yusuvira? Tower Hashim? Hakshim? I'm just running. Hawk him, actually. But, uh, okay. Going to my spy. The persons who now possess it will be vacating the tower in 18 days. Or soon. Any day now. So I was going to leave immediately. Okay. Let's see, does she actually trigger the quest at all for me? Huh. I'm not sure if she triggers the quest, but let me go ahead and finish up her quest real quick, just to like, get it out of the way. Okay, so turns out the next part of the quest, you're actually supposed to talk to Minisera again, not to uh, other characters. Uh, oh, let me hurry before the guard attacks me. Alright, so yeah, so she's actually supposed to be the next part of the quest, where she, um, because, uh, Morgaya. We actually did a quest for her earlier. Uh, I don't remember what quest it was, but basically she told us where the um, the letter was going to be, and it's Gordwog that has it. Let's see. Um, yes. So he wants to be recognized in the Empire. That would mean the beginning of peace between the orcs and the other races of the Empire. Present this letter to Gordwog. Hopefully it will persuade him to cooperate. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's ignore these people attacking me. Yeah, so basically that's how you're supposed to do it. So let's go to Orsinium. Orsinium. Yes, begin. Okay. So let's go. So yeah, that's how you're supposed to get it. Um, it would have taken longer if I didn't do... Um, Like the other quests before, I would have had to go over there, but you know, I already did so. Okay, and the orcs always attack me here, so it doesn't matter. And I should find out if you kill them, nobody cares. And actually, we're gonna have to go through this dungeon too. Okay, her letters of no value to me. And actually, I d uh, on the Elder Scrolls um, wiki, you can actually see what the letter says. Uh, she may have it. However, my people may not be so lenient towards a red guard wandering the halls of Arsinium. If you can survive my realm and find, find the letter, you can take it back to her. I will consider you to be a worthy red guard. So yeah, so we can actually kill all these guys. 
Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go through the dungeon. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'm not sure. There is a guide that does explain it. So let's go on ahead going through. So they recommend guard walks over there. I'm trying to follow this map. This map's not the clearest. Oh, the left side. Oh, you can actually attack him, huh? So go past him on the left door, yeah. Interesting. I wonder if... Can I just smack his sprite, I guess? Okay, up. At least these are orcs. Orcs are easy to beat. All the hallway further upwards. Yep. Let's see. So you come... Uh, da -da -da -da. All the hallway upwards through the door. Oops. Work, work. Come here. It's funny how they're orcs, but they don't have orcish weapons. They're actually like a greenish color. Oh, well, you know what I should have done? Recall. Duh. I can recall from here because I know what this is. Yeah, because if you look at it, it's just, it's just straight. Okay. Let's just go, and there goes, okay, so in the next intersection we go south, okay. I'm just using the guide because I really don't want to spend hours on one dungeon, and uh, I think most of us know kind of how this game goes. Uh, at this point you should, you can see how it's, wow. I think the tiger killed the orc and then I killed the tiger. Hold the hallway until you come into a sort of dining room. Leave the room near the west door. Huh. It is a dining room. Is this the west door? Yes. Go down the hallway and through the door. Okay, yeah, this, this engine is a little bit more linear than usual. Through the door. Walk down the hallway until you come to the door. Okay. But there you find it in a huge uh, chamber of the pyramid. Oh, there we go. Yep. You must reach the level above the pyramid. If you cannot level, levitate to the level by yourself. Jump into the fountain in the northeast. It will allow you to teleport. Huh. Okay. Ooh, giant pit. I'm assuming they just throw their enemies under. Hey, there is a fountain. There are several fountains. That's cool. At least there's decor. Oh, uh, let's see. Northeast corner, let's see. Come on, tigers. Northeast corner, so this one. You jump in here and it's supposed to teleport you. Oh, whoa. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Save super quick. Okay, now we're on the upper level from the platform. Mm hmm. Go up west staircase. Let's see. And head south. Past. An intersection until you come to a second intersection and a door. The door will be locked. Smash the door open. Go through all the hallway, pass an intersection, head south. Okay, so pass, ignore that one. Go south. Smack, smack. Ooh. Ooh. Get back here. That was cool. Yeah, the stores always glitch out for some reason, I wonder. Yeah, it's just like a weird glitchy look. Uh the so I'm just checking the guide real quick. Probably locked. Follow this path. I pass the intersection. Head south past the secret door and go through the door at the end of the hallway. Okay. 
<laughs> Weird looking door. Follow the hallway further south. Let's see. Oh. Well, kind of south. It's more east. Uh, let's see. Follow yourself. Walk through a short cavern. Head east. Yep. Follow the hallway. Once again, through a short cavern passage. Head west. Then turn. Okay. So west and north. Okay, just follow, keep following. Okay. Mm. Head west and turn north, go through the door at the end of the hallway, okay? So not that one. Let's see, door at the end of the hallway. Wow, how far is this thing? Oh boy, did I get lost already? Yeah, that's the problem with this game. It's like really easy to get lost. Let's see. Ah, uh, just real quick, retrace my steps. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this just a little bit so you don't have to look at me. Flounder. Okay, looks like I was really close to the actual dungeon. It was, I mean the location. It's actually right here. I was actually really close. I just uh, didn't try hard enough. But anyways, ooh, orcs. Let me yoink the letter. Yoink! Ah, uh, a bunch of orcs. Huh, it was just, whoa, more? Okay, just an orc for some, I guess. Anything good? Oh, I gotta to get uh, mithril. Uh, mithril boots, which is cool. <gasps> Another one. It looks prettier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> I like pretty things. Okay, okay, but yeah, basically that was the letter. So I can. Oops, not that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and teleport. Teleport. Okay, uh, oh shoot, did it crash? Dang it. Okay, yeah, it, sometimes this happens where it's like the, the thing gets locked. But this is like the third time it's happened uh, ever since I played it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and reset real quick. Okay, so yeah, just going back. As we're loading back up, let's go ahead, trot on down, and out of here. Okay, this was a much easier dungeon than the other one. Let's see. Is it gonna say anything? Nope? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so he's cool, he's cool. As long as you don't smack him. Uh, let's go back to Daggerfall. Yes, let's go. Ooh, look at all my skills that have improved. Even my climbing skill improved. And I didn't even climb that much. At all, actually. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, I don't know. So you just travel and then you just level. We should probably also sell some junk, but where's the castle? Oh, I'm very I was I was close. I've never been spawned in that corner. Like I usually spawn at the some of the other corners. I don't know why that is though. It just happens. Okay, where is the castle? Where is the castle? Hop, hop. I think this this is kind of silly, but I think when you hop on your horse, you actually level your jumping. Which is funny, because it's like, this is your horse jumping for you. Oh, whatever. I'm not going to question it. As long as I get the stats. Okay, let's go in. Yes. You're like the only guy guard that has... I don't know. 
So far, that's like the only kingdom where the guard does that. Let me just say real quick. She's actually down here. Minasera. Okay, there you go. This letter is dangerous. Boardwalk had and Dolly sold copies of it to everyone from Wayrest to the Underking. Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. Uh, after all, if all the pirates of the Iliad. Okay, so basically, here's what the totem. Uh, so the note says. Okay, I didn't read it, but. Uh, this is what it says. So the I'm gonna read it off of uh, UESP. Um, so Queen Minnesota, I have grave news. The totem of Tyra Septim has been found. You know what this means. The power behind Tyra Septim could be unleashed upon Tamriel again. Rumor has it that Lord Woodburn, a minor lord of Wayrus, we just killed him, <laughs> has possession of it. He will doubtless quote lose it soon. You must persuade him to turn it over to you or Lady Persenia. Uh, so she's the blade agent from before. The court of Wayrest has no love of King Lysandus, but you still have influence there. I am asking you to use it upon my behalf. Okay, so yeah, so this is very dangerous because the totem of Typer Septim is associated with the um, Numidium. Okay, so that's a very important piece of Elder Scrolls like lore right there okay so go now you've done your job I'm sure the totem will find its way into your life somehow you seem to have a knack for such things remember the only safe master of the totem is the Emperor okay and they're all attacking me again let me get out of here so they don't attack me ow okay yeah so basically um, the totem of Typer Septim is what's kind of triggering this, like why Lysandus was killed and all of that. Like, it's almost certain that it's, that's what it's related to. Okay, so I, that's all the quests I can do right now for the main quest. It kind of all triangulates into a quest called Who Gets the Totem, which is, again, continuing the bit with the totem. So for that one, we're going to have to wait a few days. Uh, until we get the letter. So I'm going to go ahead and find it in and just wait a few days and uh, We'll just uh, We'll meet you there All right, so yeah, I just waited a couple days fast travel um travel back and forth and I eventually got the letter I'm actually I just walked a little bit outside Daggerfall. Oh, there's a lot of people Why are so many people? Like, whoa, it's a lot of people just wandering around outside. Did they spawn outside? What the heck? And there's like nobody in the city? Oh, that was weird. Maybe I stood outside too long. <laughs> they started spawning outside. Okay, now they're spawning. Alright, let's read the letter. Oops. Okay, here's the letter. Oops. Come at once to Goth Work, Goth Work Rock in Daggerfall. We're waiting for you at the Dwarf and Dagger. The fate of the Empire could be at stake, Lady Arsenia. Okay, so again, she was that agent at the beginning of the game. So I'm gonna just write that down, okay? All right, let's go. Save. Impulsive saving. <coughs> uh, goth. Earthwork. Goth. Work. Rock. Ooh. Terrible mouthful, but. Location. Oh, gosh, it's a bunch of. There is a bunch of inns. Actually, I wonder if I could talk to the NPCs. Hopefully they're a little bit nicer now. Because I have a pretty good reputation in Daggerfall in particular. Like, more so than the other location. Let's see. Yes, good sir. Location. Uh, taverns. Uh, what was it? Dwarf and Dagger. No? Okay. Rude. Fine. 
Oh, there it is. Huh. Found it. Reputation's better, but sometimes my- I don't think my streets skills are very high. Okay, where's she? Oh, there she is. Okay. I am glad you can meet me here. The Blades and your Emperor need you again. You may or may not be aware that the Totem of Tiber Septim has been found. For a brief time, Lord Woodburn away rest had it. Where he got it from is still a mystery. The Blades mounted in his hall Woodburn Hall to retrieve uh, it. Although the hall fell, many of our number fell with it. We sacked Woodburn Hall, but the totem was gone. I have reason to believe the Gothard has the totem. The blades no longer have the men to mount an assault on Caster Daggerfall. You have shown yourself quite adept at getting in and out of places. Would you go to Castle Daggerfall and retrieve the totem of Tiber Septim? Yeah, to be honest, I'm not surprised he has it. Let's drink it. I know you can count on you. The totem is likely in the Daggerfall treasury. It's a huge room, quite unmistakable. I'm leaving in a couple of days. I shall send word to you where you can meet me after you get the totem. Should you, su should you succeed, the Emperor has instructed me to gift you with an artifact, a great power and renowned warlock's ring. Okay, sweet. Okay, let's go. So we're going to have to go into there. Let's see. Alright, let's go ahead, let's go find the thing. Okay, again, I'm gonna be using the guide just to make it quicker so we don't have to like spend hours trying to find this darn totem. Okay, <laughs> the, the totem's not darn, but you know, just so we don't, I don't have to spend hours trying to find the treasury. Does that mean that we're gonna have other treasure inside? Maybe? I keep thinking this is the castle, but it's not. The Knights of the Dragon headquarters. I kind of wonder why they have two. But anyways, eh, not important. Alright, let's go inside. Okay. Yes. Straight from the audience, anyways. Okay, go through the southwest room of the throne room and follow the hallway. Southwest door. That's not that one. It's this one, I'm guessing. Alright, it's probably gonna trigger everybody to attack me right now. What? Oh, man, it's locked. Southwest room. Oh, and from the throne? Is there a door? Oh, there is a door. Smash, 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 smash. Smash, 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 smash. Come on. Into the dungeon we go. Shoot, I should have recalled. Let me be the smart person and recall outside. Also got paralyzed. Yeah, be smart. Recall anchor. Yes. Oh. Yes. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so be smart and just. Smash, smash. Yoink, go. Go, 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 go. Go into a room with an archer. Or something. In this case, it's a spell sword. Any good? <gasps> Mithra's saber. Sweet. But I can't use him. Okay, so you end up with a. Leave this room through the north door, which will be locked. It's not. 
Oh boy. It's one of these rooms. Ah, come on. Get over here. Okay. Uh, go through a small room. You reach a huge room at the center tower and various cross uh, crossroads. You must reach the top platform of the central tower. Easiest ways to. Yeah, but I'll just take the stairs because I can't levitate. Wait. What? Oh, this one. Okay. It's actually. It's an orc. Orc Warlord. Okay. Very... Wait, is that a. Ebony left? That's why I always check. Yes. I'm starting to look impressive. Okay. Uh, come on. Come on. Up oh, and there. Yeah, there, it's dead. She, she's dead. Go to the top of the tower. There are many archers in this huge room. Once you have reached top of the uh, follow it north. Come on. Open, please. Open, please. Just rest real quick. Some healed. Anything in here? Nope. North. Um, follow the pathway north and exit through the north door. North door. Oh, droogs are in here? Huh. They're underwater enemies. The top. Oh, the top platform. Okay, never mind. So, up here actually. Wait. Oh, I guess not. Uh, I guess it's through these doors? Let's see. He's north. Successful backstab. Uh, da -da -da. Exit through the north door. You will find yourself again in a big room. Follow the ledge west. Yeah, this is a big room. Like west, west, then north past this person. This is all the big sets, isn't it? Ooh, there's like a treasure up there. Okay, I'm just gonna stray from the path for a second just to yoink that treasure. Can't help myself. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh oops. Uh, that actually scared me a bit. Ooh. Ah, work, 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 work. Oh, I'm actually running out of health. Uh, let's see. Pass the night. Go through the east door. Yes, east door. At the end of the ledge, there will be an enemy in the hallway next to the door. Go through that door, and you're in the treasury vault. Whoa! What the heck? Oh boy, okay, I think there's too many... There's too many things here. I wouldn't do it in God Mode if only the combat was a little bit more stable. Did that guy just kill that? Did that knight just kill that? I'm not even gonna question that. Made my job a little bit easier. Okay. Oh boy. The treasury is a giant cube with 12 chambers hovering in air. Numerous knights and battle mages surrounding the rooms. There are many treasures in this cube, and the totem will be found in one of its chambers. But first, you need to sink it to the ground. Did it just go to the very bottom of this room? Okay, inside a pit with a bunch of slaughterfish. Oh boy. Dang, this is intense. Like, holy. Like, little lasers? Yeah, this room is just empty. 
Except for that cube. Day. An Amantium broadsword? Cool. A is longsword though. What is he shooting at? What a slaughterfish? Okay. I'm doing all the gold from you guys. You're shooting at me. Battle Mage just died. Okay. Uh huh. At the bottom are two passages. Oh boy. So I gotta go down here. Ugh. I hate this. Ugh. You. You. That's gross. Oh god. What's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Oh, from up there. Okay. I gotta hide. Alright, so at the bottom of two passages in each cardinal direction, the southwest passage leads to a room with slaughterfish and three chains. Southwest room. This one right here? Sorcerer, huh? So I'm like, wait, you look like you're in a different. Uh, ow, ow, ow. What was that? That's not the southwest room. I don't think. Let's say southwest. I think it's this one? Oh boy. Uh. uh southwest passage really leads to a room with slaughter fishing three chains. Maybe it's here? Okay, let's see. Might be spikes or something. Yeah. What? It just took me back to the. So maybe it's this one. Okay, there we go. Slaughterfish and three chains. Uh huh. Pulling the right chain will cast a water breathing spell. The middle chain will teleport you to a ledge. Top of the vault. The left chain will. Teleport you also to top of the vault, but in midair. Each chain can only be used once. Southeast passage leads to a room filled with water that brings ice, etronogram, and a hand wheel. However, we're not part of the pit, so you must use one of the chains to get out. Huh, okay. So, let's see. Pulling the right chain will cast a water breathing spell. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. Southeast Passage. So I guess it's that passage that I found earlier, the one that's like submerged. Let's see if I can... How do I swim? Oh, this is, this is totally not awkward. I'm pretty sure there's a way to go down, but... Oh, here we go, the Atronach. Is that you're not just died? Spin the wheel. No treasure. Oh boy. Come on. Let's see, go. Uh, is it page down? Let's page up, page down. Oh boy. Let me check the controls super quick. Uh, transfer to the float up. Yeah, it is page up, page down. Where's page up and page down? Okay, numeral locks on. Page down? No? Oh boy. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and recalibrate this. Okay, so I got a. Um, I was pressing the wrong page up, page down buttons. It works. Okay, so now the cube is up, but now I'm trapped inside, so I have to use those. Three chains that I found earlier. Uh, which one? Uh, let's see. Each chain can only be used once. The middle one will teleport. Uh, the left chain. Actually, it's the middle one. There you go. Haha! -ha. So now the cube is now lowered and that texture, I think, broke. Because it's just floating there. What's in here, I wonder? Any treasure? Or is it just... Okay, I'm not gonna try. 
Uh, let's go back down to the ow. Cube. Let's go down to the cube. Once you're out of the pit, go to the top of the cube. There's a lever in the center. Ah, oh, man, never mind. Can I climb? Yes. Yeah. Oops. Come on. Come on, me. Come on, I can do this. Okay, just in case, I'm just gonna switch to god mode real quick, just to make sure I don't die. Can I not climb it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can climb it. Okay. Pull the lever. Oh, I see. So it actually just lifts that up. Uh, let's see. It will lower the blue bars that block entry to some of the treasure chambers. Okay. Let's see if I can... Is that it? That looked really weird. Let's see. <gasps> oh, that was it. That's a lot of gold. Holy. Okay, well, I got the totem. Let's see if there's anything else I can yoink. I mean, I'm here, right? You are my new host. Know this now and resolutely. You are not worthy to carry the to totem of Tiber Scepter. Only those whose bloodline might carry me. I will give you a year and a day to accomplish this. Uh oh. Looks like this person. This, it's not happy that I'm holding it. I'm an agent? Does that count? Is this, oh. Is there anything else in here? Or is that it? I guess so. I don't think I can access anything else. Which is interesting. Yeah. I guess I can't access anything else in this. Bunch of dead. Two dead ropes. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. So leave the castle quickly. Uh, all the throne room guards will now be hostile and engage you on sight. Okay, so basically, get out of here. So, let's, let's get out of here. Teleport. Luckily, I chose a place outside the city. Please don't chase me and kill me. Whew. Okay. Save. So I got the totem. Now, we have a choice. We can either give it to... Ekorithi, which is... Um, so she's the Queen of Sentinel. Edwir, which is... Um, Wayrest, Gortwag, so again, the orc, Gothrid, right, um, so I'll give it back to him, uh, the King of Worms, or the Underking, right, and this is the point of kind of no return, I guess. Oh, and the uh, Brissinia, of course. Let's see, regardless of re reputations, the reputation retired to gain each respective letter. Okay, so they're gonna send me letters. Each letter sender promises you a reward. Decide who is worthy to bear the totem. It's entirely your decision. Essentially, this decision determines which faction will quote-unquote win. So choose wisely. If the quest is still active and your reputation drops, the individuals will attack you. Okay, yeah. Is Akarithi, is where Gordwog, Gothrid, uh, King of Worms, and the King. Okay, and your decision. So it depends. So there's like a bunch of different rewards. Uh, okay, the uh, King of Worms. Necromancer's amulet. Ooh, what the heck? He just straight up gives you. Okay, that's interesting. Mm hmm. 
Mm, I'm just double checking something. Huh. Once a total of type receptor is in the hands of a really rare you get a vision. And then, oh, there's one more part to this game. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and save. I just saved again. What am I doing? Sorry about that long pause. I was just double checking uh, what the next part of it is. So the next part, I'm just going to wait for the letter. So I'm going to stop the. Uh, I'll go ahead and load it back in once uh, I get the letters. One eternity later. Okay, so I did get the letters. I, I decided to go hang out in Alakir. <laughs> in, the, um, in the desert. I don't know, something different. Okay, because I got attacked again. So here's all of the letters. I think for pretty much everybody, I don't think I pissed off anyone in particular. Okay, so Lady Brissini, you're reading this. You must have gotten the totem and escaped the dungeons of Castle Daggerfall. I'm Galloworth Heath of Daggerfall at the Moorsmith residence. Bring the totem here as soon as possible. Okay, so she's one option. I feel like this is where roleplay could potentially come into play. I feel like my character would just give it to her because she's been actually helpful this whole time, but let's meet the others. Centuries ago, Tiber Septim ruled the land and forged an empire with the great Numidium. The secret of Numidium's power lies in its heart, carried within the mantella. In its heart, it is the heart of Tiber Septim's battle mage. It is my heart. It is my mantella. It is my totem. It belongs to me and none, and to none other. I have won and lost an empire. I have no desire to tamper further with mortal affairs. I have in my possession Necromancer's amulet, one of the world's greatest artifacts. You may have it in exchange for the totem. My most loyal agent will await your arrival at Ner Newwood, Wood, Newwood, Wood. Oh my gosh, of Daggerfall School of Juliana. I'm not kidding. Okay, so that's an interesting one. I feel like that's an, that might be one I'm gonna think about. Okay, you. We'll soon have the totem of Tiber Septim in your hands. It is foreseen in the stars and have read them. Know this, all of mortal stature are fear, fear. All of mortal stature are filled with pride and greed. To give the totems any of them is to let loose mortal vanity upon this world. They will destroy the very thing they covet. I have no early desires, I have no mortal pride, no pity, greed. Only one such as I can wield the totem safely, for I would take it into Ethereus and leave behind this earthly shell. As long as the totem exists, it is a danger to all the Tamriel. Bring me the totem and I will safeguard the world. I will not offer you gold or gems. I will offer you only what I can give. Fame. Your reputation to Tamriel would soar. That's handy. Learn the answers. King of the Worms. Except I don't like you very much. <laughs> I played ESO. I'm not a fan. My ears have picked up rumors that you are searching for the totem of Tiber Septim. I too have hunted for this wondrous artifact for many years. Should you find it, I will pay you a healthy ransom, enough to buy your own ship. I will match or exceed any price a Gothard or Akorithi might offer. Never forget your real friends. Okay, anyway. okay, so he's bribing me with money. Okay, Akorithi. You're on the quest to retrieve. The totem of Tiber Septim. Do not deny it. My spies have confirmed this. The totem is not for commoners. You cannot use it. Bring the totem to me and I will pay you 100,000 gold pieces. It is a king's ransom by any measure. You should be warned. Neither Wayrest nor Daggerfall are lord to the throne. I am the only regent in the Iliac Bay that can be trusted. Others will only use it to destroy me. I fear the Queen of Sentinel. Okay, so again, um, trying to peel. Okay, you are not orcish. How could you possibly understand what it is like? My people are treated like barbarians, slaughtered upon sight. Is it so unusual that we respond in kind? Violence begets violence. I aspire to raise my race from the mire. I will bring them to equal standing with the other races of Tamriel. To do this, I must have the totem of Tiber Septim. I will not insult you by promises that no blood will be shed. I do swear by my crown and by my heirs. I shall not attempt to hold sway beyond the borders of Orsinium. My goal is to not 
is not to conquer Tamriel, but to create the or Orcish homeland. I am in possession of an artifact. I am sure you would want to possess. It is yours if you but give me the totem of Tiber Septim. Okay, so apparently it's Chrysomir, uh, the sword. Okay, and then... Oh, okay, and this is the same one. Okay, so now we have choices here. I do have to wonder if there's any decisions like that can ch that might affect it. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna save real quick. All right, so that was quite a lot of dungeoneering and all that stuff. The next part, this is the final chapter, the final episode. Um, I don't know if it's the final episode. We'll have to see if we have to split into two. But yeah, this is the next one is the final quest of the uh, of Daggerfall. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Um, I know I've been skipping a lot of the dungeons just because it's kind of boring to watch. <laughs> it's boring to edit too. Uh, I mentioned it a few times, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I I am planning potentially to do Skygerfall, which is the Skyrim mod version of this, to try out the other uh, paths that you could potentially take. But I think the paths that I chose are pretty much that's like the standard. Uh, unless you choose like uh, the other factions, like King of Worms or something. All right. But anyways, um, so yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, and maybe the last. We'll see. All right, see you.